fear. Fear is something that we all experience. For example, I am deathly afraid of snakes. <laughs> when I'm on a walk and I see one, I will literally wait for someone to come or for it to move for as long as possible. I will, I will do anything. I will wait there for an hour <laughs> so I don't have to get close to that snake. Um, and maybe you too are afraid of, of snakes or spiders or, or bugs or the, the darker or something like that. But there are bigger things that we're also scared of, that we also fear. Mostly, we fear the future. What's going to happen with the next school year? Our job, economy, our health, our money, our relationships. There are a lot of things to fear. And as I was thinking about fear, I realized the definition of fear is the belief that God doesn't know what he's doing. God, are you sure that this is, this is the, right, the right career path for me right now? Is this how you want the world to work? How you want the world to go? What good can come out of this situation, God? With all of our fears and doubts, do you know the most frequent command in the Bible? With different variations, of course. It's do not fear. So, what's so important about this command being repeated in the Bible so frequently? And why should we believe it? Well, Isaiah 41.10 perfectly lays it out for us when it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And it's so cool because this verse perfectly lays out why we should not fear. And, and, it, and it gives us three reminders that God cares, that God conquers, and that God the first one is God cares. God cares so much about us and our fears and he wants to be with us and comfort us so we don't have to fear. Just kind of like a, a family member or a friend that wants to be with you in times of trouble. God also wants to be with you. And his presence is enough that we don't have to fear when it says, fear not for I am with you. The second one is that God conquers. God reminds us that we do not need to be dismayed because He is our God. He is our God. Not dismay, not fear, not anxiety. Those things aren't our God. Those things can't control us. He is our God and He can help us overcome them and overpower fear. And remember what I said at the beginning that a lot of our fears are fears of the future and what's going to happen next? Well, we are reminded in the last section of this verse that God can, that he can and will strengthen us and help us and uphold us with his righteous right hand. He's going to, in the future, help us and strengthen us and uphold us. And also says in a chapter before this one in Isaiah that, it, that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And it's interesting because this verse also talks about the future, about hope and what will happen when we hope in the Lord. So together, let's hope. Let's not fear. And let's believe that God cares, that he conquers, and that he can help us overcome our fear.